Hey guys, Wish I'm Six here watching Avatar The Last Airbender. This is book one, episode seven, called Winter Solstice, part one, The Spirit World. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as we upload our videos. Also, you can check out our Patreon page for the next four episodes of early access or six episodes of full uncut reactions. Don't miss out on that. Link is down below. It helps out the channel a lot. And let's get started right away. <clears throat> the spirit world. Winter solstice. The spirit world. Hey, what is that? It's gonna land in the splits too. Why do they look sad? Yo, why is it so dark? See something. It's Big like shadow. A scar. A scar. Wait, uh, what? Deforestation. Graveyard? Oh. Fire Nation! Those evil savages make me sick. They have no respect for- Shh. Why would anyone do this? How could I let this happen? It's the Avatar's job to protect nature. But I don't know how to do my job. That's why we're going to the North Pole. <coughs> to find you a teacher. Monkey Atsu said that Avatar Roku would help me. The Avatar before you? He died over a hundred years ago. How are you supposed to talk to him? I don't know. Hmm. Air. No Uncle, how. it's time to leave. Where are you? Uncle Iro. <laughs> this guy's chilling. This guy's retired, bro. Leave him alone. That looks so good, bro. Yeah, yeah. hopping there in an instant. In nature, too? Yeah, natural Damn, like, springs bro. Temperatures just right. I heated it myself. Ew. No, oh, no. Fire bending. What were you thinking? Bro, it's just <laughs> pissing in there. So it's not a natural. He heated it himself. Are you, ready to be yeah. Are you the Avatar child? My village desperately needs your help. Oh. Uh oh. Damn. For the last few days at sunset, a spirit monster comes and attacks our village. Spirit monster. He is hey by. The he by white spirit. <clears throat> you are the great bridge between man and spirit. Oh. Right. I think you can do it, Aang. Yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you look weird in this guy's still chilling. Yeah, he looked different. Whoa. Oh. Fire He's no ordinary soldier. Mm. This is the Fire Lord's brother. Dragon of the West, the once great General Iro, but oh, now shit. he's our prisoner. Earthbenders, right? Yeah. What oh, the shit. hell? Nice fuck. <laughs> he doesn't care. Damn, it's destroying everything. What the hell? He can. He can the... teleport? What the hell? He's a spirit. spirit. He can teleport. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, oh damn. shit. So he can hear him, at least. Hey, bye. Over here. Oh, of course. Snatched instantly. So why didn't he take Aang? Because he's the avatar. Yeah, but he doesn't know Probably. that. My uncle's been captured by earthbenders. So we have two rescue missions hmm. going on. Mm, so close. <gasps> Damn. Oh, that could have ended badly. All right. <laughs> oh, you can commune. Sokka! We're taking you to face justice. Right. But where specifically? A place you're oh, my quite familiar here. with, actually. You once laid oh, exactly. siege to it for 600 days, but it would not yield to you. Ah, the great city of Ba Sing Se. After 600 days away from home, my men were tired, and I was tired. <sighs> and I'm still tired. <laughs> He's not cold, dude. He He's falls in the off. forest. <laughs> he just falls off. No, this has to be a ploy. I did that for a reason. Oh, track. Drop. 
Yeah. Ah. Uh, here he is. Katara? Katara, I lost him. Oh! oh he's in the spirit realm. Because he touched him, right? Yeah, he's blue. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> That's funny. I bet they even found you Open watching the movie for a treat. What am I supposed to do? Some interesting way to like spy on people. Avatar Roku, how can I talk to you? And then you and then you just materialize. Going to like a Fire like, Nation war room, Roku? right? Figure out Whoa. what they're seeing. What the hell is this? A dragon? That's definitely not Sokka. Hmm. Do you think? Remember a dragon. Oh. Hey. What? I can't airbend in the spirit world. Uh oh. <clears throat> this dragon looks very helpful. Touched him with the mustache. Oh, you can talk to the dead now? And gave him wisdom. <laughs> Wait, what? he could see it? What's the problem? Nothing. Ooh, damn. That's sick. Damn. Touch. Keep touching with the mustache. Whoa. Fire? Is that what Roku wants to talk to me about? A comet? When can I talk to him? Oh, when the solstice happens, maybe. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> the Avatar. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, he's choosing from. He has to make a choice. Or, oh. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Damn. Whoa. Not cool. Oh. oh. He actually decided to save his. Damn, with his heel. You're clearly outnumbered. Ah, that's true. But you are clearly outmatched. Damn. Damn. What yeah. the hell? Dude, that kind of shit will kill you. Now would you please put on some clothes? Alright. <laughs> oh. You are the spirit of this forest. You're upset angry because your home was burned down. Interesting. What the hell? What's the spirit of the forest, right? So it makes sense. And there's something else. But the solstice is tomorrow. Yeah, and there's one more problem. The island is in the fire nation. Oh damn. God damn. Serious. How is that part? Oh, I guess that second part is to go it's a to the Fire Nation. Uh, Wait, he said tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Damn. All right, the spirit roll. Yep. So, so, so basically, it's a key, the story is the same. I mean, it's a different like they're going to different places, but it seems like they're going to different villages and towns and helping people out. And in the um, as they're doing that, Ang is learning about his abilities and stuff, his skills. And now we were introduced to the spirit world for we're the first time. We're introduced to a lot of stuff, actually. We've never had anything regarding the spirit. No. No, right? So before, oh. it was, uh, like you said, just going to village to village, right? Mm -hmm. But now we have a lot of... Uh, 
seeds being planted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I mean, this is the best way to like do a story because when you go in a village village, you get a lot of world building, right? Yeah. But now the actual story is kicking in. Yeah, now we have like a real story. We actually have a. Before the story was go to the North Pole to get trained, right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't as like interesting, I'd say. It wasn't in depth. There right. also wasn't much urgency behind it. Like, it's just like go get trained. Well, there was like, a war, but yeah. I yeah, guess, but for yeah. what, right? There's like, not that much urgency. There's no right? specific goal that yeah. there's something you need to do. Like, it's but more. Now just, there's like, more urgency. And I mean, there's, there's a two parter. So next. So you're going to see why there's an urgency, right? Well, I think we got it because it looks like they, there's a comet coming or something that might destroy the Earth, the planet or something. Also, we got something new in this episode. Yeah. I don't think we've uh, seen the Earthbenders attacking until now. Attacking? Like they were at, like they captured one of the Fire Nation. It always seems seemed like the Fire Nation were attacking other. All right, so yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So basically, what we've seen so far, yeah, Fire Nation is always in control, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like even in the prison where the Earthbenders did fight, first they were prisoners. Yeah. So in this situation, Earthbenders were just out and about. They found a lone Firebender and took him prisoner. So they finally uh, but retaliated. It wasn't just because he was a Firebender; it's because of who he is. All right. Which is the Fire Lord's brother. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also... he has a big reputation, like like in the war. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And there's a war going yeah. on, so obviously I think I was getting like... my food while that scene yeah, was happening. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. But you guys got the gist of that? Yeah. 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 Also, he. What do you want to talk about? Uh... Want to talk about something? No. Uh, if we're still talking about them, the Fire Nation. Mm -hmm. What's his name, the Grandpa? Iro. Okay. Uncle Iro. He saw Ang as a spirit. What does that mean? Yeah, so exactly what does that mean? The fact that Iroh can see him and Katara couldn't. Right? Appa yeah. couldn't. Uh, did he meet anyone else? Well, uh, I mean, the guy, I think the that's old it. man in yeah. the village, he couldn't yeah, see him. Yeah, anyone in the village, they didn't see him. So what do you think that means? Does that mean... Is... Oh, yeah, no, I didn't... Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say your piece first. Is this spirit world... I mean, I don't know how it works in this show, but is it basically the dead and the... Is that... We don't know. Do I know? I don't even think I know that. Oh. Because I was thinking maybe because he's old, he's almost mm -hmm. about to die. Why didn't the other old man... Why didn't the other old man didn't see him? Though? That's what I said. Like, what? The old man that was with Katara, though, he didn't see him either. He looked way older than Uncle Iroh. Yeah, 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 he was yeah. gonna die first. <laughs> All right, that guy. Yeah, it know. would make sense that it could be dead people because we're assuming that uh, the Heibai, the panda, died in the forest, died, right? Yeah. So maybe there's something there about dead people. So okay, but I was not dead. So so why does he look like that when he goes to the real? Why does he turn world? blue for why, us? No, why does he turn into a monster? Heibai? He doesn't look like a no, bear. No, that's that's just rage and like yeah, th that's because yeah. it's a spirit. A spirit doesn't have a physical form. Yeah. So a spirit is gonna take the shape of its spiritual emotion. Yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. I think that's the best way to explain. Yeah, it. it'll be like uh -huh. it'll manifest itself depending on yeah exactly how it's how it's feeling or something similar. Sure. The thing is, when I first watched this. I had very little interest in the spirit world stuff. Because mm. to me, it didn't make sense, right? I was, I was small. Yeah. But, so that's why even a lot of questions you're asking, even I don't know, right? Right. So, I I mean, that's one thing that I'm going to enjoy in this rewatch. Yeah. Learning that shit. I hope we get more of that. It's yeah. far more interesting this time watching. It is, yeah. Dude, um, let's talk about the, what's his name? The Avatar's... Uh, the guy that's supposed to teach him how oh, to become, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to say about that? I don't know. Like, so is he going to meet him tomorrow? Maybe his tattoos might start going. We'll see. All right. But I think that either uh, he, there's going to be a message left behind for him or they're, he's going to, they're going to commune somehow. Mm -hmm. He's going <laughs> to, it's going to happen tomorrow. It has to do with the light hitting the statue and something shit's going to hit the bed. Yeah. Or it's the claw. Do you think he's even going to make it? Because one day, and it's in the Fire Nation. 
Probably not. Here's what I'm saying. Why can't he just go back to the shrine and... Which shrine? The, the one right next to where they are now. Go back in the spirit world. Call on his familiar and have him take him right back. Because that's how he just got there now, right? He wasn't physically there. He was spiritually there. I think he has to be physically. Oh, he has there. to physically. Okay, I okay. think yeah. that's yeah. The, yeah. Statue was. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have just. Well, it still had to happen tomorrow. But I, don't know, I was thinking like maybe because I don't know. Maybe he can only and see him so in wait, the. Wait, no, I don't think he actually knows how to go back, right, into the spirit world. Yeah, he doesn't. Because that happened by accident. I don't think he knows how to go back. Oh, he can't okay. just call he the dragon. Go, okay, I'm going spirit world. Yeah. Like, I don't think he's. But he kind of he noticed the advanced. shrine though, right? He know he noticed it. He took note of it. But I guess. Yeah, but I don't think he knows how to activate anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, he only has tomorrow to talk to him, or it what? has to be during the solstice. Okay. Right? Is that so? How long is the solstice? Yeah, that, I don't know. Is that a day or? I don't know how long this is. Okay. I don't know anything about sol solstices. Let's just watch the next one, honestly. Yeah, two parts though. Yeah. We'll start right away. All right, guys, that was Avatar The Last Airbender, book one, episode seven. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Remember on Patreon, you get early access and full reactions. So check that out if you can. And we'll see you next episode. Peace.